friends for C2E2. I love, love, love C2E2. This convention is where I experienced my very first artist alley. The people were amazing, very welcoming, and very warm. I had an amazing experience. I told myself last year that just in case I don't get accepted in their artist alley for this year, that I will go as an attendee. My biggest goal this weekend is to support as many artists as possible. already but this is Ariel she was my neighbor last year at C2E2 I love her I love her work like she's just amazing oh thank you I wanted to make it special this year and like you be the first person I visit so that's why <laughs> I still have like the sticky note that you wrote for me. Um, it, for, from Miss Diza makes the. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have that. I didn't, I'm just like trying to be like more sentimental. <laughs> oh my god, me too. I always think about that's also why I think it's great that you're filming the cons because I yeah. always wish that I could look back on my first cons ever. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think we take for granted how like cool this is. Like, we're, we're like setting up our art traveling circuit style across <laughs> right? Japan, you know, Yeah, it's about the memories. It's yeah. Very cool. Yeah, this is Ariel, thank you so much. I'm gonna show her work, so her prints are over there. <laughs> Go have this from last year. Some covers that she made. I have this evil thing girl taking over too and then she has some stickers too so cute i'm gonna be back here later ariel i'm gonna get this and a couple of more things <laughs> but yeah
this list is The Comic True Apocalypse, written by my friend Chris Hutton. Hi, I'm Chris Hutton. I'm here at C2E2 with the new comic written by me with art by Matthias Lissak called True Apocalypse. It's the kind of thing where if you like apocalypse stories, you'll get something out of it. And if you don't like apocalypse stories, I think you'll get something out of it. It's my attempt to try to like do something new with the genre, and I'm really happy with how it came out. So I'm happy to be able to give people uh, a chance to check out the book here at C2E2 with my good pal, Reza. Always a great time with you around, Chris. How do you survive a true apocalypse if the only experience you have was surviving apocalypse from movies or video games? What happens when someone has to survive on those lessons alone? Perhaps read a comic about it. If you guys can, make sure to check out this comic you made. It truly means a lot to me. Next is from my lovely friend Ariel. Look at this catsip sticker sheet. As well as the art cat vice. Such cute art with a splash of motivation. I have the Space Gal sticker sheet. It's so cool. I also have this lovely Captain America sticker sheet with motivations. As you can see, one is missing, but that's because it's already on my tumbler. Drink water. Of course, I have this washi tape from her with all of her characters. I just love this style in purple. Next is Just a Spell. Of course, I had to get it. It is written and drawn by Ariel. I am so in love with the style. I can't wait to read this. Her style is just so magical to me. And of course, I had to get Girl taking over. I just know that I have a lot of reading to do once the convention season for me is over. I will always support Ariel, now and forever. She is such an amazing artist and an amazing friend. Next is Kuro731. I was only planning on getting one sticker sheet from her, but ended up having more. Just fandom things. The art is so cool as well. It fits perfectly. Asian responsibilities can totally relate to all of these. artist responsibilities so good and then you have adult responsibilities taxes ugh not real postage by the way Next is Jared Melendez, author of Chef's Kiss. I can't wait to read this. Be gay, do crimes. <laughs> it's such a cute doodle. I also noticed that this design is so good. I first learned about Jared during this convention and now I'm hooked right away.
Next is Manny Madeiros. I've never commissioned an artist at a convention before, so this is very special. I asked him to draw me in a Wonder Woman style, and I think he nailed it. He even got my mole. Money well spent, for sure. Next is Julianne Doodles. I have been a long time Instagram follower and an avid watcher of her YouTube videos. Her aesthetic's so cute. I had to get a sticker from her of this burnt out one, as well as two sticker sheets of Pokemon, one in summertime and one with just plants. Cause we love plants and we love summertime and we love Pokemon. Next is Sang Lam Art, and by the way, she made this Cult of the Lamb desk mat that I have in the background, and of course I had to get a pin from her. So cute, love the aesthetics of this, as well as the backing card. She's also so sweet to talk to. I had a nice interaction with her. Next is Hookie Duke. They have a Patreon if you guys want to check that out. I got this print and sticker combo from her. It says no one is free when others are oppressed. I think this may be one of my favorites. I'm loving the foil accent as well. So good. Next is a print and enamel pin from Kuro MD. I've been following him on Twitter for some time now and I had to visit him when I saw that he was going to be at C2E2. Next is Oshitart. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly but I got this wonderful Melania piece from them. Next is Priscilla Wilson's art, Valor and Velen. Priscilla is so nice. She is wonderful. She gave me some tips on how to improve my convention portfolio, especially for the big ones like SDCC. She's always been very helpful to other artists, especially on Discord. I always see her answering questions and helping other artists. Her niche is so amazing. I am a big fan of her work. She's one of the artists that I definitely told myself that I, need I needed to see at C2E2. <laughs> I got these ribbons from her and I have another one that's already in my badge. Please send coffee. Another artist I've been following recently on Instagram is Phantom Nisno. I am such a big fan of their work. They have the, the clockmaker's daughter that I'm so excited to read. I'm loving more and more OC stuff lately. The sticker sheet's so good. 
And of course you have this art book. It's just so beautiful. You just know, you just feel it when an artist is very passionate about their work. You see it in their work. These two prints are from Unisu, I believe. I don't want to butcher it, but it's so beautiful. I really love this mystery sticker pack I got from VVBG Comics. I also need to check out their comics as well. My favorite one is probably the F Snow sticker here. I love snow, but just something about it makes it so freaking funny. Next is this Fire Emblem print from Lumiskuro, another artist friend. These cute stickers from Minute Squid Studio. I'm particularly a fan of this rooster OC that they have. A cute art from LRN Page. A dreamy piece from Tsumi Art. It's so good. Got this piece from Casey's Gashapon. It's so cute. Of course, we have Metsy, Mona Lisa draws. Mona Lisa and her helper at C2E2 were so sweet. They're such sweethearts. Probably one of my highlights in the convention. Love the inspiration she put into this comic. And of course, the Pizza OC Stamp Rally Prizes. Oh, oh, okay, take two. <laughs> I had to get this. It's participated by nine artists that you just saw. I wanted to get this 24 page zine featuring all of the participants with their creations. I think it's so cool.
Next, we have Iron Pinky. I really love how he drew all of these characters. Such a unique style. Next is Hey It's Mojo with his Gear 5 print and stickers. I really love this chopper piece. Next is from my friend Code Sink Leaf, which three drawings from him. This last one is definitely my favorite. Spider Punk! Next is the signed print from Neil Kaplan, the VA of Madara Chiha. Last but not the least, the C2E2 exclusive merch. And that's a wrap! Thank you for reaching the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. The videos in the beginning were kind of rough because I had some problems with recording it, but I hope I was able to make it up in the end. My next vlog is going to be my Artist Alley experience at Anime Central. I hope to see you guys there. That video will be up in June. See you guys later! Bye!